What's up and welcome to Play Infinite, another news video that I have for you guys comparing the old MacBook Air, the mid-2012, 11 model, sorry, comparing it with the new 2012 model, which Apple announced at WWDC 2012 on June 11th, 2012, which is the day I'm making this video. So let's go over a couple of specs that I have to share with you guys. It's pretty cool, so I'll even highlight which is my opinion, what I like. Obviously, it's kind of obvious right now, but anyways, uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on which one you should get. Uh, for your hard-earned money, so let's go. Let's start off with the height. Um, basically, the specs around the length, height, with all that stuff is the same. It's 0.11 to 0.68 inches. Um, as we move on to weight, again, it's exactly the same. The resolution, exact, again, is exactly the same. So a lot of similarities here. But when we move on to CPU, that's where you see a difference because the first one was a Sandy Bridge Core i5 or Core i7, depending on what you chose. But the new MacBook Air is an Ivy Bridge Core i5 or Core i7 processor. So if you don't know what the difference is, go ahead, search it on Google because I don't think I'll be able to explain it uh, to the best of my, like, I have a couple of knowledge, I have a bit of knowledge on it, but I won't be able to explain it completely to a new person. So go ahead, search Google for that. If you want, I'll send you a link to exactly a proper website or whatever. Uh, graphics. So as we move on to graphics again, the new one's a bit better. It goes to the Intel Graphics 4000 versus the Intel Graphics 3000. Don't ask me anything about graphics card. I absolutely know nothing. I know everything else on this list. Uh, I'm I'm like fully solid at except for the graphics. I just can, can't get a hold of that. Uh, memories. I'm not, not that I don't like it. I just don't know graphics. I, like see, I see this big number. I see 4000 versus 3000. I'm like, okay, so 4000 must be better. Uh, but I don't know why. I don't know the technology behind it. I pretty much know the technology behind the CPU and like the resolution, all that stuff, type of stuff. Um, as we move on to memory, so we have a couple, of, a bit of uh, different stuff here. So we, the first one, the two, mid 2011 model has two or four gigabytes um, of DDR3 mem memory clocked at 1,333 megahertz. Whereas the newer one, the MacBook Air, the 2012 model, is either four or eight gigabytes, in, and see, it has a far higher speed too. It's it's at 1,600 uh, megahertz with DDR3L memory. So. A uh, big difference there, and it's really good to see that Apple's doing that. Storage, as we move on again, it, the difference is we're only given an extra 5, 12 gigabytes of storage, so kind of goes to the new one in terms of this, but let me go over the details again. Ports, we have a bit of difference here. So the Thunder, Thunderbolt is still the same, and the thing that we have different is now it's they kind of bumped it up from USB 2.0 to USB 3.0. Again, there's a pretty big difference uh, there. It's actually a huge difference there between the two, so... You might want to search that up or even ask me down below in the comments. I'll reply to that easily. Wi-Fi, there's 802.11 A, B, G, and N for both. I believe there was a new standard of Wi-Fi. I don't know if it was actually standardized. There was a new Wi-Fi wave or something, but I don't know if they standardized it. But it seems like Apple's sticking with the basics for this. It'll They'll both have USB 2 uh, 4.0, both of them, the old and the new one. The battery life still ranges from 5 to 7 hours, and the starting price is exactly the same, except for the 13-inch model. So the starting price for both is 9.99, 11 inches, and as you move to the 2012 model, it's now it's actually sorry. Whoa, what was I saying? Um, it's actually lower than the than the mid 2011 model. So the 2012 model is now only 1,199 for the 13 inch. The two, mid 2011 model was actually 1,299. So let's give my opinion, what I think about it. So which one should you get? So this is what it all comes down to. If you want better specs, if you want beefier specs, then definitely go for the 2012 uh, model because it's newer. You get more RAM. You get more. You get an Ivy Bridge, which is a fairly big difference. Um, you get better graphics, but I don't know how much difference graphics is. Like I said, and you get USB 3.0 faster transfer speeds, and all for the same or less price or a cheaper price. So that's definitely good. But when it comes to actually, when you talk about price, when I talk about price. You have to keep in mind that the MacBook Air is actually going to be fairly cheap now. I'm sure if you wanted to buy it new, you can still buy it at a couple of places for maybe cheaper than Apple's price. Uh, you Definitely if you go on like other websites, you'll find it cheaper because obviously a lot of people are going to start selling it off to get the new one. So I don't know. It's really up to you. If you guys want to find a cheap one, I guess go with the MacBook Air the mid-2011 model because... It, there are a couple of spec differences, but you have to remember the weight and everything, that's all the same. The resolution is exactly the same, so you're not missing out too much in terms of that. It's only where the raw power is, that's what's different for you. So if you're not a power person, first of all, I would say if you're a power-looking person, go for the MacBook Pro. Why are you even here? 
Go for the MacBook Pro, go for like the new one maybe, the Retina display one, it's um, 0 0.72 inches th thin, so it's very, very thin, so you can, I guess you can go with that. Because uh, at the biggest part of this MacBook Air, because remember it's a wedge-shaped design, so it's 0 0.68 at the big biggest part, and that's 0 0.72 all across, so not a huge difference between the two. So, of course, when you move, look at the beginning part, it's like 0 0.11 versus 0 0.72. Anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. So, in the end, I would say go for the MacBook Air. That's my, the 2012 model, basically. Just go for that. It's a bit cheaper, especially, I always recommend a 13-inch model. If there was a 15, it would be amazing, but there's only a 13. So, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a quick thumbs up on your way out. Hopefully, hopefully you like my type of videos, you like these news videos, but I also make a lot of hands-on videos, reviews, and unboxing, and all that good stuff. So, go ahead, check out my previous videos. I made a comparison between the MacBook Pro line of uh, app, lap, laptops Apple announced. Also, I made videos just unveiling the MacBook Pro, unveiling the MacBook Air, and I even made a video talking about iOS 6 maps. So, go ahead, check out those videos. Uh, my channel and uh, I have nothing else to say so thank you for watching I'll be around here at Play Infinite so leave a comment I'll reply to it as soon as I possibly can and I would love to have you guys on board as a subscriber so uh, don't forget to subscribe it really helps me and it keeps you up to date so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video later